Hey guys, this is Ray with Phone Arena and we wanted to show you a quick comparison of the web browsing experience that we get on the new Samsung Galaxy Nexus and the iPhone 4S. Um, so while we are wor working to complete our full review of the Galaxy Nexus, we wanted uh, to take a few minutes and see how web browsing works on both devices. So as you can imagine, on the left side we have the uh, Galaxy Nexus and on the right we have the iPhone 4S. So let's launch the browsers. As you can see we've loaded the phonearena.com website here and uh, first of all we're gonna test how scrolling works. On the Galaxy Nexus, as you can see, it, ha it uh, treats us to some very smooth, uh, very fine scrolling experience and on the iPhone 4S, it is just as smooth. Uh, probably a few frames more here on the iPhone 4S, but the difference is uh, really negligible. So now let's try the other uh, most used gesture while browsing on a phone, which is of course pinch to zoom. Here's how it works on the Galaxy Nexus, very tolerable experience, very fine, uh, probably one or two skipped frames here or there, but nothing major, uh, very comfortable uh, pinch zooming on the Galaxy Nexus. And now let's try that on the uh, iPhone 4S, again, uh, flawless, flawless experience uh, with the iPhone 4S, not a problem when doing pinch to zoom. And now let's try another zooming gesture, which is double tap to zoom, which is very handy when uh, using the phone with one hand only. So um, let's try that. Let's uh, see that uh, we want to zoom on this article here. I just double tap and um, we kind of zoomed in on this article. Not uh, the most accurate uh, as you can get, but still it works fairly well on the Galaxy Nexus and on the iPhone 4S. We actually zoomed in exactly on this article, so this was a better on the iPhone 4S here. And now let's say that we want to zoom in on this new phones widget here that uh, we have on the website. Double tap on the Nexus and this time it, uh, it is very accurate. It zoomed in exactly on the area that we wanted it to. And let's try it on the, the iPhone 4S. This time it didn't work exactly as it should on the iPhone 4S. Let's try that again. This time it works. So uh, you can get um, variable results on both devices. Let's try one more. For example, we want to zoom in on this holiday gift guide uh, editor pick that we have here on the Nexus. It actually is very inaccurate in this case. We don't know why. Again, it goes to somewhere else. And on the iPhone 4S, it zooms in exactly where we want it to. So, as you can see, uh, both handsets work with uh, double tap zooming, and uh, but probably the, the better experience is still found on the iPhone 4S. So, this is one area where we would like to see Google make some progress. Double tap zooming in the web browser. As of right now, uh, both handsets do not support the Flash plugin. Uh, because it is still not uh, optimized for ice cream sandwich which is running on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus and uh, of course the lack of flash is uh, probably what allows us to have this incredibly smooth experience on the iPhone 4S uh, browser and uh, probably that's what makes it so good on the Galaxy Nexus as well uh, so but flash will be ported to ice cream sandwich so soon, uh, hopefully sooner and uh, we expect this to make the frame rate drop a little but uh, probably the experience will stay tolerable because the Galaxy Nexus after all has a dual core chipset which should allow uh, pretty decent uh, flash performance uh, in the browser. And now let's see how working with multiple pages uh, is executed on both devices on the Galaxy Nexus when you touch this key here uh, and you can see this is how your tabs look 
on your Galaxy Nexus, this is how you get rid of them. And on the iPhone 4S, you touch this button, and here are your tabs. Let's open the National Geographic um, website here. Again, a very smooth, very fine uh, performance by both devices. Pinch to zoom, again, very tolerable on both devices. A bit smoother on the iPhone 4S. Now let's try double tap on this main editor pick here. Works flawless on the iPhone 4S and not so good on the Galaxy Nexus, but still tolerable because as you can see it actually zooms in on this on the text here. So this was our web browsing comparison between the Galaxy Nexus and the iPhone 4S. Um, both handsets deliver an exceptional uh, web browsing performance. Uh, the Galaxy Nexus will get Flash Player which is a great advantage, uh, still a great advantage, oh, while the iPhone 4S will not get uh, the, the Flash Player plugin, but it still delivers the smoother and probably fa uh, faster performance. So this was a quick uh, web browsing comparison between the Galaxy Nexus and the iPhone 4S by Ray with Phone Arena. For more details, check us out at phonearena.com and don't forget that you should stay tuned for our full review of the Galaxy Nexus which will be up on the site very very soon.